Peace, love, golden light. Today is Thursday. And on Thursday, I share my general response that is a part of the Write It Down series. So this week has been all about self-acceptance. So let's talk about it. <laughs> Grab a pen, we about to write it down. You know what you gotta do now. Grab a pen, write it down. You know what you so when I sat down to uh, write to this prompt, it caused me to think about self-acceptance in two different aspects, right? One aspect was about me accepting and embracing the natural things about myself. Nothing that needed really to be changed because it wasn't doing any harm to anyone else and it wasn't doing harm to myself. And then just embracing the natural state of who I am, right? Um, the other aspect is me accepting certain things about myself in order to open myself up to change. Initially with self-acceptance in my meditation with this, it has always been about the way that I flow, right? And anytime I think about flow or movement it reminds me of water the course of the river right and you hear people say like don't fight against the current you know go with the flow right and that's what self-acceptance does for me right so if there is something about myself the way that I laugh and how I smile real hard and I close my my eyes and things like that if I accept that about myself then I'm able to just flow with my enjoyment of life right but if I can't accept that and I judge myself about that and I allow the opinions of others to throw me off, I really don't get the fullness out of my life because I'm self-conscious about how I'm smiling and I'm self-conscious about how I'm laughing and things like that. So being in a state where I'm able to accept myself allows me to flow. I don't have to fight against myself. Self-acceptance, it shows me how it does relate to confidence. It does relate to self-esteem. It does relate to how you decide to move in your life, which leads to you enjoying your life, right? I'm not trying to be at war with myself. I'm not trying to create this inner turbulence that doesn't allow me to enjoy my life, right? So when I'm in a state of acceptance, it's easier for me to go with the flow. So me recognizing different attributes of myself and learning to embrace that has maximized the joy that I have within my own life. There's so many things that I just did not like about myself. The way that I had my self-talk and things that I said to myself was so harsh. Like, I hate that about myself. Why am I doing this? I don't like that. I hate that. You know, all this hatred towards myself, right? Um, so for example, one of the things was my voice. I was so conscious about my voice. So voice memos, as I said in other videos, was one of the things that allowed me to embrace the naturalness I had within how I spoke, right? Because voice memos is me being completely raw. I'm not speaking to please, to, I'm not speaking to please someone. I'm not speaking to an audience so I have to feel like I have to say something a certain way. It's me being me is me being real so the more that i was doing that and hearing myself whether i was upset whether i was crying whether i was happy whether i was sounding like a little kid i embraced every aspect of my voice every aspect of my emotions that came through when i spoke instead of saying i hated that right because fuck it this is how i sound right this is how i talk this is what i'm doing so why am i gonna fight against something that is natural for me right so instead of fighting against it i embraced it shout out to my homegirl angel she will always say the natural things about yourself is your magic growing up i've always been slim i've always been skinny i've heard it from my family my friends everybody you so slim you don't eat da, da, da. meanwhile i eat a lot <laughs> you know what i'm saying but i had trouble gaining weight so i struggle with my body and my body image and things like that so i've been able to accept how i look right and i don't have to fight against that right so when i'm fighting against that it makes me want to change myself and me forcing to change myself makes me want to compare myself and then instead of me just enjoying what i have and who i am my life is built on comparison and things like that. So once again, going back to look at myself head on and appreciate everything about myself. Aspects of my hair. I've learned early on, <laughs> ever since you know I went natural, to embrace my hair, my texture, right? And let that be what it is because 
I don't need to fight against who I am and the natural things about myself. So this journal prompt was asking what part of yourself is hard for you to accept. And when I sat to think about that, I really could not pinpoint a part of myself that was hard for me to accept because I've been learning to embrace and accept every part of myself. That that has been a lot of my journey that allowed me to grow in so many different directions because once again, I always say flow to your flow. This is how I'm doing things, right? And even though I can absorb and be inspired and um, bring in other things to myself, everything has to come down to what I am and who I am, right? And focusing and uplifting those parts about myself. So self-acceptance has always been about me connecting with the true nature of who I am and not looking to change that not looking to fix it, you know what I'm saying? Because there's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with how I speak. There's nothing wrong with how I look. There's nothing wrong with my hair, right? There's nothing wrong with me, you know what I'm saying? So I embrace every aspect of myself, even if it's something that is the physical, right? I had to embrace how sensitive I am, right? Because I always felt like it was a bad thing and I allowed people to convince me that it was a bad thing. So that's something within the last year that I've embraced completely because I realized that my sensitivity allowed me to be much more caring, much more nurturing, much more in tune with myself and other people. Um, it showed me how I needed to pr protect certain parts of my energy and things like that. And it was more of a, a power that I had to be sensitive and not something that was wrong with me. I used to look at it as something that was bad. So. I used to tell myself, I want to be this way, right? So I fought against myself. But once I was able to accept, like, fuck it, I'm sensitive, I'm in tune. These were certain things that I was able to embrace. And once I embraced it, I was able to use it more to my advantage in order to get more out of my life, right? So I really don't have something that is hard for me to accept. And nothing was really coming to me. It actually pushed me to realize how much more things I have been able to accept about myself and looking at the fruit of that. What came from me accepting that, right? So the other aspect that I mentioned was about me accepting certain things about myself that opened me up to change. And when I think about that, it's more so about if I can accept that I'm a people pleaser, then I can do more work to understand why in order to change those things because I don't have to be defined by that. There's certain things that I've been through and there's certain things from my childhood and growing up, my adult life and things like that, that allowed me to realize where this was coming from. But it was up to me to decide that, do I want to stay this way? Is it beneficial for me? Asking myself those questions. So the first thing I had to do was accept that I was that. Accept that I was a people pleaser. Accept that I was dependent and attached to people or attached to things, right? But then realizing that it wasn't doing me no good. And I had a choice to say that I want to change this aspect of myself because it's not fruitful. It's not beneficial, right? I'm not moving with much confidence. I have much more guilt with myself. You know what I'm saying? And I'm being tossed all over the place because I'm people pleasing with everybody. You know what I'm saying? So it's like once, instead of being in denial about it, I use myself to accept that part of myself, but then decide this is something that I can work on changing. One aspect of self-acceptance is embracing the natural things about myself, but then also accepting something that I realized within myself that might not be good and say, hey, it's up to me to change that. Self-acceptance is powerful and there's different stages of it as we continue to grow. But at the end of the day, I had to sit with myself and also realize that I'm enough, right? I'm, a, I'm enough. I, I don't necessarily have to keep shifting and adjusting to feel like there's something that I'm not doing. There's something that I'm lacking. So self-acceptance is all about embracing. It's also recognizing that the natural things about ourselves, it doesn't need to be fixed. If it's beneficial, if it's not causing any harm to anyone, if it's not causing harm to yourself and it's allowing you to enjoy life, but you're going to go on a journey to try to fix those things. There's nothing wrong, right? So accepting that there's nothing wrong with you and you're, you're whole the way that you are is the, the type of acceptance that allows your confidence to build, your esteem to build, and allow you to just have love and joy in your life, right? You don't have to walk around angry and upset and mad because you're fighting against yourself. 
Like, there's a lot of things within myself that I used to be at war with, whether people knew of it or not. And it, it really made life harder for me, right? So me being able to accept certain shit has allowed me to get more out of life, has allowed me to be happier. You have to take some time to sit with yourself. If you're wanting to know more of who you are, what you like, what you don't like, what you love, what you realize and that you're starting to hate, but you want to grow to love, you got to spend time with yourself doing that. And you don't necessarily have to look outside of yourself. Everything that you have and everything that you need is within. And it connects you right to the source of all creation. So yeah, that's my response. And it's accept yourself, embrace yourself, be who you are. Grab a pen, we about to write it down. You know what you gotta do now. Grab a pen, write it down.